Hey, what's going on guys? Call me Super here and I'm bringing you some team deathmatch on dry dock today And before I get into that, I just want to say that um, Yes, this match is a quick match because I Just you know, I Like I said a billion times I hate playing ranked because everybody in there is really mean to me and they like to um, You know just Cyber bully me in such ways that I just feel like I feel threatened when I get online, and I don't appreciate it. Okay. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, this is a really long gameplay on Dry Dock. Not really flashy or anything. It's more uh, playing safe and playing to survive, even though I did die three times. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, it's, it's I'm playing in a very defensive way. Not camping, but I'm not overly aggressive it's, it's defensive playing more strategic and um, I got a good score because of it but the gameplay is not what's important I'm here to talk about a little bit more about uh, Gears of War Judgment and um, a lot of cool stuff that they've uh, said and um, you know looking at the gameplay trailer for Overrun I mean that looks pretty cool I, I didn't really think I would even care for that as long as classic multiplayer is in the game. And yes, classic multiplayer is in the game. The class-based multiplayer is only for Overrun. And regular multiplayer is still in Gears of War Judgment. Um, but yeah, I thought I would only buy Gears Judgment for the story, really. Because I thought the regular multiplayer is going to be just like Gears 3. And it's going to have a new mode. So I'm like, what's the point? I'm just going to get it for the story, right? I might just rent it or something. But after looking at that game mode, it looks really cool. I just cracked my knee. That really hurt. Um, yeah, I don't know if you heard that. But I, the game the game mode Overrun looks really cool. Um, for those of you who don't know what Overrun is by now, I mean, you should. If you've even been following on Gears Judgment. I haven't really. This is all coming off the top of my dome. Um, so... <laughs> Overrun is basically like Horde vs. Beast, um, which is pretty cool. So like I said, at first I didn't think I would even you know care, but it looks really cool. The class-based uh, multiplayer looks like it would fit in very well for that mode. Um, it looks really cool. The sniper is uh, has four shots, which looks really cool. And um, the locust, you can play as a lot of locusts I've seen in that, so... That's going to be really cool, actually. And, um... I, I want to see some regular multiplayer gameplay. As of right now, when I'm making this... I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but as of right now... They don't have any regular multiplayer gameplay. It's just a few scenes from Campaign and Overrun that they have. But, um, from what they said... They have removed the sawed-off shotgun. Which is, uh, amazing. Um, there's some slight you know, control differences, but I'm sure they'll have, like, a lot, they'll, they'll probably have, like, a classic control scheme or something where you can just go back to normal, or I hope, because they have, like, like, Ys to change weapons, and there's, like, you can tap the bumper to throw a grenade instead of having to have it equipped, but, um, you know, I think that's only for the, uh, for uh, judgment, I think, I mean, for overrun the new mode in judgment because if they do that for the regular multiplayer it's going to be kind of gay but uh you know it's not it's not bad to change anything maybe it'll work out better who knows but yeah so they removed the sawed off i kind of just want to uh, talk about my multiplayer wish list video that i made uh it got a lot of views actually because you know i just make these videos for fun and um when I see a video of mine in five days get over 500 views, you know, that's amazing to me. I I actually freaked out. I remember I went to school and I told all my friends and they're like, oh my God, who cares? I'm like, I care. That, that's like the best thing ever. And they're like, oh, that's pretty lame, dude. <laughs> some of them are like, oh, wow, that's actually crazy. But some people are just like, yo, who cares, homie? I'm just like, dude, that's amazing. Like, it's get, that's basically like 100 views a day. Of course, now it's been like a week, I think, and it still has 530 views, but um, still, like, that's a huge accomplishment for me. You know, getting 100 views in one day, that's something I never even thought of that I can do. 
Especially on this channel with a name like Anime Freak 86. <clears throat> I didn't expect anybody to watch my videos and stuff. But anyway, back to what I was going to say. Um, that video, I didn't really talk about my uh, what I really wanted. I kind of just listed off some things. I didn't really explain them well. So I'm going to go into detail about those things. And I think I still have the file open here. Yes, it's on my desktop. It's called Gao. <laughs> Now, I spent so many, you know, I spent a lot of time already talking about other stuff, so I'm going to have to do this quick, but I'm still going to try and explain it better than I did uh, in my last commentary about Gears of War Judgment. So when I said they need to have a lot of good maps, I mean, like, they need, they need to have maps that are balanced, like I said. But maps that are balanced aren't maps like Overpass and stuff like that. I mean, like, maps like Fuel Depot, War Machine, Gridlock Canals, uh, Clock Tower, you know, stuff like that, where... Each side ha has an equal amount of uh, weapons or whatever that they can get to at, at the same time, so it's fair. War Machine is a perfect example. Each side gets grenades, and each side has an equal chance to get to the power weapons. Sniper, Torque Bow, and each side also has a chance to get to the Troika. Now, I know a lot of people never use the Troika on Gears 1, and to be honest, the Troika is an amazing weapon. Um, I know some of you are probably like, oh my god, this guy's a noob, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Get on the Troika when everybody's rushing at Torque. I'm telling you, you can take out everybody there in a few seconds, because it's so powerful. But the only thing is, you're very vulnerable when you're there, because if the other team has Sniper, you're going to get killed, unless they have a bad Sniper, or they don't know you're there. But yeah. So they need to take out, like, bad maps and stuff. That's, that's, that's really what I was, I didn't really want to talk about that too much. I really want to focus on the weapons and stuff that they have to have in there. Like, no sawed off, which they've already said they're not putting the sawed off in. But the retro, now I know this was, this happens like right as E Day starts, so there would be an abundance of retro lancers, seeing as the, uh, the pendulum wars had just ended. Or ended before and the weapons that they used in the pendulum wars was the retro lancer now it would so it would make sense to have the retro lancer in the game however the retro lancer is one of those weapons in gears of war that just breaks the game in so many ways it's one of those weapons that with the addition of stopping power which is another thing i think they should completely remove but high damage with a lot of stopping power pretty much makes it unavoidable in in so many ways and that shouldn't be in the game the hammer burst is different there's stopping power on it yes you know you can fire it fast and it's very effective yes but if they were to change it back to how it was in gears one as a burst weapon you know nobody even picked up the hammer burst in gears one and that's not to say it was bad in gears one in fact it was very good in gears of war one just nobody used it which is what it should be like in Gears 3. It should be a weapon, a pickup weapon, that and I think they should take it back to burst. So it'll just be more, you know, balanced that way. Because I think we can all agree, uh, Gears 2 and 3's hammer burst, you know, it's, it's good, but if you have a really good trigger finger, I mean, you're going to be unstoppable, especially if you have a good connection. Which brings me to my next point, Connection shouldn't be an issue anyway because they should always have it on servers servers, you know They make they made Gears of War 3 uh, Fun, but when you get put on bad hosts in Gears of War 3, it's just like playing Gears of War 2. So, you know keep it on servers and uh, Reduce reduce the grenade blast radius. Holy Jesus. Oh My god, that's the worst thing ever and uh, take out inks and incineraries and um, you know take out the smoke stun anyway guys final score is 16 and 3 I know I still rushed what I was talking about but it's okay uh, I just wanted to tell you about the maps and the hammer burst and retro and sawed off and stuff anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time peace out